G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Unity video. We're going to look at components this time around. I talked about game objects in the last video being objects you can place in your world. Now, every object is made up of parts, and those parts are known as components. Now, just with this cube selected, you can see over in the inspector, we have one, two, three, four, five components making up the cube. And all of these come together to form what the cube actually is. So the transform stores the position, rotation, and scale of the object. The mesh filter tells Unity what shape it is. Okay. Mesh renderer tells it how to draw the shape to the screen. The box collider says how it looks like in the physical world, because a lot of the times your collider is not going to be the same shape as your mesh filter. And then finally, the material that's added, so it gives it color or it might give it um, reflections and things like that. But that's the basics of what components are. They're the parts that make up your objects within the game world. And you can add and remove as many components as you like. Okay, so for example, if I was to get rid of the mesh renderer, I would no longer be able to see my box because I'm not telling Unity how to draw to it. Let's put that back on. And I've destroyed the material. But we're just going to have to put up with it, I think. There we go. It's back. So. Same way, I can remove any of these components, all except for the transform, okay? You cannot remove the transform because everything must have a position, rotation, and a scale within the world, all right? If, when we get into scripting, you're going to see transform a lot, okay? I can remove the box collider if I do so. Look, I now have no physical shape for my cube, so that means when the physics take over, that cube is going to have absolutely nothing to collide with. Okay, it's basically going to be transparent when it comes to physics. So let's bring that back. Not cube, box is what I meant to write. Okay, and you've seen how I've done it already. This is how you add extra components onto your objects. All right, these are all the categories you can go through mesh, effects, physics, and blah, 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 blah. Not going to go through them all because you can read, hopefully. Okay. But some of the most basic ones that you're going to use, I reckon physics is probably by far the most common one you'll use, right? And scripts. Okay, a lot of the other ones, I don't, oh, effects a little bit, but the other ones I don't tend to use at all unless it comes with the object, such as with a light, it comes with a light component, and the camera, it comes with a camera, a GUI layer, flare layer, and audio listener. Okay? So let's play around with this box for a second. If I was to change this box, let me have a look at where it's positioned in the world. Now I can see my world. If I want to actually add physics to these guys, because when I press play, they all just float in the air. They've all got colliders. They all have a collision, but they don't have physics attached to them. If I want to add some physics, I'm going to go to physics, and then I go rigid body. And the rigid body is exactly how it sounds. We've made a very stiff body, and we've added physics, gravity, mass, drag, and friction to the whole thing. So if I press play, my box falls. And to make it a bit more interesting, if I pull him forward a little bit, we'll even see it's proper physics. Okay, there's dynamic physics built into Unity like this. Okay? And if I do the same for all of the other cubes, you can add multiple components at a time and press play. They all fall all over the shop. Okay, so there's something interesting to play around with. Okay, there's lots of different components that you can utilize down here. Okay, as I said before, physics is the one I spend most of my time in. And then physics 2D a little bit, and it's how it sounds. If you have 2D sprites, this is where you get all your 2D physics objects from. Or components, I said objects, I should say components. All right, and the final one, scripts. If you've written any scripts, they appear down here as well. Now, just to show you a little bit more before I finish the video, I've got a sphere over here. I'm going to add some physics to him as well. So let's go rigid body. I'm just going to type in the first couple letters and hit enter. Now I've got rigid body. The next thing I'm going to add is a light to him. Okay. What I'll do now is delete on my directional light. And the only thing in my scene that is now emitting light is the ball of my sphere. You see the light actually moves with the sphere, which is awesome. Okay. So that means we can do some pretty crazy stuff. So one of the simplest things you could probably do is change the light into hot like so we can increase the range the angle where are you my mouse there you are and then we go into the color because why not when we hit play the physics will take over and a spotlight will go everywhere 
Well, or it'll just sit down on the ground. But I think you all get the point. That's pretty much components in a nutshell. It's a good idea to have a play around with everything that you want to do. So, thanks for watching everybody. If you want to like, subscribe and comment down the bottom, I'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, I'll see you later.